One of the games circled on the calendar at the beginning of the season takes place on match day 24. The two most recent La Liga champions go head to head with stars galore on display. Both Atletico Madrid, fourth in the table, and a Barcelona side six points ahead of them in second, fight to keep their hopes of the title alive. For the visitors, the game represents an ideal chance to calm the tense situation of recent days since the defeat to Paris Saint-Germain. By Guerrero, play on, says the referee, Marchis. Oh, and what has Ter Stegen done? It's 1-1. The result was aggravated by an unconvincing performance against Leganes, in which Luis Enrique's side needed a late penalty from Leo Messi to vanquish the Minnows. Minimal run-up. Into the back of the net, top corner, Ererin going the right way. The players are looking to unity to help them through a tough period of the season. Now's the time to be united. We're much stronger when we are as one. We still have many La Liga games to go, the second leg in the Champions League and the final of the Copa del Rey. I think we need to be united and keep working. Lack of rotation, but an early goal would change things, and that is very... it is the early goal! Atletico come into the game off a big win against Sporting Gijón with a spectacular substitute performance from Kevin Gamero. Nervous moment and here is a great chance, Kevin Gamero! In off Gamero once again, two goals. Over the top, can Kevin Gamero finish off an unlikely hat-trick? Yes, he can, with three goals. The players who came on did very well, they were fresh. They added an extra aspect to the team. I'm sure the result is so comprehensive because of the good work Sporting did as well. Once again, Diego Simeone's changes proved pivotal. The same as they did in the first meeting between Barcelona and Atletico this season at the Camp Nou in which Ángel Correa grabbed an equaliser off the bench. Lack of concentration, oh, that's a slip at the wrong time, and that is the equaliser for Atletico Madrid. Well, it didn't take Correa. Besides the president in La Liga, both sides met recently in the semi-finals of the Cup, making this the fourth game between them this term. The Cup encounter was also an even affair, from which Barca ended up going through. Looking back on the statistics for Atletico since Simeone took charge, the numbers are surprising. Despite the feeling that Los Colchoneros have made life difficult for Barca every turn since the Argentine took charge, El Cholo has only managed two wins in 20 meetings in all competitions. In 10 La Liga games, Barcelona have won seven, and the other three ended in draws. However, those two wins for Atletico allowed them to eliminate Barca from the Champions League on two occasions. And the draw at the Camp Nou three seasons ago helped Atletico to the La Liga title. And there's Godin! And it's Atletico back in it! For this weekend's encounter, Simeone continues with problems in his defence. Juanfran is definitely out, and Diego Godin a doubt. He does welcome back Jana Black, available again after missing the last eight games through injury, while Fernando Torres and Kevin Gamero will fight for a starting spot in the Atletico attack. Barca, meanwhile, will have Sergio Busquets returning from suspension. Andres Iniesta, Gerard Piqué and Jordi Alba could also come back into Luis Enrique's starting lineup. The heavy artillery is available for both teams in a crucial game in the title fight. Contests between Atletico Madrid and Barcelona are synonymous with strong emotions, making this a huge game in La Liga Santander.